Maybe it's time to think out of the box when it comes to grilling. Here are some unconventional items for grilling. The barbecue isn't just for meats. Consider fruits and vegetables. By cooking over an open flame, you can really enhance the flavor. You would be surprised. Yes, you can grill lettuce and other hearty greens. The trick is to keep the root end intact so it all stays together on the grill. I love to grill citrus for marinades, vinaigrettes, cocktails, you name it. Grilled citrus is the best. The rule of course for grilling is keep everything in larger pieces so nothing falls through the grates. On the grill, use oils with a high smoke point like grapeseed or avocado. Making sure your grill is nice and hot first is a must. A trick I have, grill the ingredients for guacamole. You'll have a charred smoky flavor. Level it up. That looks good. Grilling fruit caramelizes the sugars so it'll be extra sweet and tasty. This watermelon smells so good already. Mm. If you do want to grill smaller pieces, use skewers, make kebabs. These also make amazing garnishes. Doesn't need long, you're just looking for a little color. This smells so good. Not your typical salad. Grilling is one of my favorite things. I love it so much, I want some more. You may not associate your barbecue and desserts, but after all, it's an outdoor oven, right? Here's how to make two super easy desserts right on the grill. These are s'more stuff, okay? Pay attention. First, you take the gram. Crush that up in the bottom of a pie tin. Next, you add the chocolate. I mix things up and use a variety of miniature chocolates. You can also use chocolate chips or peanut butter cups. Go crazy. This s'mores dip is sure to be a crowd pleaser. They'll be begging for seconds. I can't say s'more every time. Let's get this thing fired up. This will need to cook over indirect heat. That means heat one side of your grill and place the pan on the opposite side. Depending on your grill, if you're cooking with indirect heat, you may need to rotate throughout cooking. Keep the temperature around 350. And keep an eye on it. Woo, it'll be nice and brown. You'll know it's ready when that chocolate is melted and those marshmallows are nice and toasted. Mmm, delicious gooey s'mores dip. That's a big bite. The easiest dessert right on your grill is a skillet cookie. My shortcut, just pick up some cookie dough or you can use your favorite recipe. For the cookies, I'm gonna have the middle burners off and these outside burners on. Before you put the cookies on the grill, make sure it's preheated. This goes right on your grill on indirect heat. Oh, crispy edges, nice and gooey in the center. That's a perfect cookie. Cooking breakfast outside on the grill, unheard of until now. Bacon, eggs, pancakes on the grill may seem challenging, but why not cook outdoors and enjoy beautiful weather? Here's how to make a full breakfast on your grill. Your grill, after all, is just a heat source, so you can use it just like a stovetop. For breakfast outdoors, you need to transform those grill grates into a griddle. An obvious choice is a usually inexpensive and easy to find option, the griddle top. An easy substitution is a sheet pan. Just make sure it's not a coated sheet pan. I like to just use an aluminum or steel option. If you're looking for easy cleanup, especially if you're camping, go with aluminum foil. If you're using aluminum foil, be sure to make a well and raise all the edges so the grease doesn't go into the fire. Turn that fire down to prevent hot spots and burning through the foil. Keeping that flame low will ensure that everything heats evenly. You know, good things come to those who wait. Reinforce with a couple layers of foil to prevent leaks and punctures. If you are making bacon on the grill, keep a close eye on it. You want to prevent grease fires. For the eggs, make your own little pan for the grill. Double up a piece of foil and form it into a bowl. Just like that, this will be our cooking vessel for eggs. Be sure to use some cooking spray or a little cooking oil so nothing sticks. Now, add your eggs. Whip up some eggs. Throw in your favorite mix-ins. This will make a yummy on the grill frittata. A muffin tin is another awesome alternative for eggs on the grill. Breakfast on the grill, 10 out of 10, would recommend. Thanks for watching Problem Solve. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and check out some of our other videos like these two right here.